here we go with the main event of the evening, the bout you've all been waiting for. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled in a rematch for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Osaka, Japan, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the champion, fighting out of the red corner to my right, entering the ring, wearing black trunks with bronze trim, fighting out of St. Paul, Minnesota in the United States. He weighed in at 72.2 kilos or 159 and one quarter U.S. pounds. With a record of 25 wins and one loss, he has 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the second defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the accomplished, reigning and defending WBA middleweight champion of the world, introducing Rob Bravo. And his opponent across the ring is the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim, fighting out of Tokyo by way of Nara, Japan. He weighed in at 72.3 kilos or 159 and one half US pounds. His record stands at 14 wins, two losses, with 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his fifth consecutive world title appearance, he is looking to avenge his loss and regain his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, here is one of the distinguished and respected stars of the middleweight division, the 2012 U.S. Olympic gold medalist, the WBA number four ranked contender, and the popular former WBA middleweight champion of the world, introducing Ryota. And our referee in charge now to give instructions, Luis Pavo. I give you instructions in the dressing room. They have an occasion. Okay. So here we go. Second time around. Brant Marana, the rematch. Can Rob Brant prove himself on the other side of the world? Can Marana get back to the belt? You know, after the first fight, Royota Marana was very introspective, Dre. And he talked about how disappointed he was, that he didn't land a single blow that could have turned the first fight around. He actually questioned whether or not he would continue on in his career. And then he thought, I want to be at the top level again. But sometimes those tiny seeds of doubt, they can sprout when you get into spots like this. Yeah, I don't think those seeds that we're talking about are, are tiny. I think they're they're major and they're laying dormant in the mind of Murata and Rob Brandt the burden is on him to bring those seeds of doubt to the surface early in this fight to let Murata know the first fight was not a fluke. I'm the champion. I have one defense and I'm here to defend my title again on your home turf. Having heard those comments here as there's an early pace being set by Brandt that is similar to what we saw in the first fight Tim. Do you think that Murata should have gone straight back into this rematch or had a stay-busy comeback? I think that he should have had a stay-busy comeback fight and, you know, to get prepared for Rob Brandt and what he's going to see. But coming straight back at Brandt, that just shows you a lot about his character and the fact that he wants to win his world championship back. It's a more aggressive Murata than we saw early on in yes. the first fight. Much more aggressive as he's closing the gap already. That's a big adjustment for him. He set on the outside in the first fight, and now he's inching closer and attacking quicker, but he's doing it behind punches now. And you see Rob Brand, he's just real offensive. He's gonna let his hands go. So the more Murata pressures, the more offense you're gonna see come from Rob Brand. It's a really good looking first round of a championship fight. Sometimes this is what you get in a rematch. They pick up right where they left off, and such is the case with Brandt and a better looking Murata. Yeah, well, rematches are all about adjustments, and we see Murata making the adjustment right now in this first round. 
He's not laying back, allowing the motor of Rob Brandt to get going. He jumped on Rob Brandt, and right now, Rob Brandt is processing and trying to figure out how Murata came out so fast. Yeah, absolutely. Rob Brandt is wondering what's going on. It's not the way it's supposed to be, but he's still determined. And going down to the body right there is Rob Brandt to slow down Murata. Listen, Brandt is still very much on the pace that he wants to keep. It's just an improved version of Murata that's against him. Murata is moving, has that high guard, and following him out and smothering Rob Brandt as often as possible. Good body work that time from Murata. Closes the gap again, a straight right hand to the body, right hand upstairs, and then a four-punch combination from Brandt. Both men opening up, and Murata scores well. And there's a short left hand on the inside from Brand. Murata digs to the body. What an excellent, excellent first round of the rematch. Crowd is roaring in Osaka as Brant Murata put on a show in that opening round. Brant comes out firing again. Rob Brandt once again threw over 100 punches against Murata. He did that in nine rounds in their first fight. But Murata was so effective with the power punches in that first round. He threw 64 power punches, landing 29. The most power punches ever landed against Rob Brandt. Ry Ryota Murata had 29 power punches landed in that first round. Joe Tess, that hundred punches in that first round from Rob Brandt was different than the hundred that he, you know, the hundred punches that he landed in the first fight. That was a defensive, get off of me, yes. Murata, hundred punches. That yes. wasn't an offensive, I'm here to take you out, hundred right there. And there's a good right hand from Murata as Brandt is hurt. Brandt tried to tie up, and now here comes Murata on the attack in round two, splitting the guard, scoring with right hands. This is the Murata that everybody expected to see last fall. Left hook comes in, series of punches, right hand rings in. Brand has to get out of trouble here, and still so much time left. He is hurt badly. Murata's all over him here in round two. Oh, and he sends him back. A devastating series of punches. 90 seconds remains here in round two. Can Rob Brand survive? All them shots are set up for the body shots from Murata, Tess. The body shots. Louis Pavone's taking a look. He may stop this fight. Here comes Murata in front of his fans. Raining in shots. Brandt barely can defend himself. Has to tie up here. He was sent back. Right hand comes in. Body shot comes in. Looping right hand comes in. Murata is scoring with ease. Why is Rob Brent not holding on right now? Right. Even if your legs aren't good enough to move, hold on until the traffic cop comes. Make the referee do his job and break you. It's the know-how. It's the know-how, Dre. You got to work on it in the gym. Left hand to the body. Another headshot comes in. Brent looks like he's in horrible shape here. He is. This is not time to be offensive. This is time to hold your opponent, stop him from hitting you, to allow yourself to clear your head. Another left hand to the body. And a big right hand Ooh. comes in for Murata. This Ooh. is over. TKO victory. Murata gets his title back. That is what he was always supposed to be. Royota Murata with an extremely impressive dismissal of Rob Brandt in two rounds. And Brandt took an extraordinary amount of punishment. Seems like the first time around, he was probably overconfident in the fight. First time around, but this time, he knew what he was up against, and he dominated from the opening bell. If you get your title took from a challenger, yeah. In an upset fashion, the way Ryota did, uh, excuse me, yeah, Ryota did, that's how you come back. You mm. come storming back. You don't allow the demons of the past to cloud your judgment and to have you second guessing yourself. You compartmentalize that and you go in there and you act like a champion. And that's what Ryota did. Hats off to him. Great performance. Great, and great job by the referee 
for allowing the fight to continue. Maybe a little bit too long, yeah. but a great job for not getting in there and jumping in too soon. Incredible performance by Ryota Murata. They are going to be celebrating all night in Osaka. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 34 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, Luis Pabon, stops the contest. He is the winner by technical knockout. And he is once again the WBA middleweight champion of the world, Ryota Murata. That was so impressive. Ryota Murata, all smiles as you see promoter Bob Arum flanking him here. He returns to glory and is the WBA middleweight champion again. And what a show he put on against Rob Brandt. Look at those combinations to the head and body. You know, the difference in this fight is that Murata actually went to the body, and he went to the body early. He wasn't phased by the onslaught of Rob Brandt. You know, he wasn't surprised. He knew he would have to take a lot to get a lot. And, you know, he was accurate with his punches. The referee gave Rob Brandt every opportunity to respond from the onslaught of Murata and to try to fight back and to show us the offense that we've been clamoring about over the past eight or nine months. He wasn't able to do it. Murata jumped on him and never gave Rob Brandt an opportunity to even get in the fight. Great performance from Ryota Murata. A great performance with superlatives when you look through the CompuBox numbers that were tallied. The second round TKO includes a near record setting performance. I want to draw your attention down to the power punches. 54% landed, 173 thrown in not two full rounds of fights. 93 power punches landed, but 64 of the power punches landed came in that devastating second round alone. Among middleweights in the history of CompuBox, that is number two all time in power punches landed in a single round. One away from the all-time record for power punches landed in a single round for middleweights. Normally, when we have a rematch among champions and they have split the first two fights, you would say, well, automatically there should be a third. Mm. I don't agree Not after that performance. Your thoughts, Tim? You know, not after that performance. You know, I mean, Murata, Murata, he looked strong. He was he was accurate with his punches, you know, and he focused on the body of Rob Brandt to slow him down and caught him over the top with a clean right hand. That was the punch that concerned me, you know, in this fight for Rob Brandt was the right hand. Well, Murata landed rights, lefts, uppercuts, <laughs> jabs. Every punch you can think of, he landed it on the chin and the body of Rob Brandt. That's why he got the result that he got. Murata's a bad, bad man, and if you get your belt taken, that's how you come back and get your belt back. And in an interesting way, I think probably now when you reflect on the career of Murata, Rob Brandt just becomes a little speed bump in his career with that kind of a performance.